can see laying in your mama's womb. I mean the very moment of conception it was the enemy's plan to take or destroy your life. He knows that whatever the creator makes is destined to be great because the creator, the creator, he makes no mistakes. The enemy knows that if you ever reach your full potential, that is to be walking and living in your purpose for being born in this life, that you will be powerful and influential and win souls for Christ, which means less souls rotten in hell with him for eternity. So he lays traps hoping to see your demise. But don't you know that you were made to survive? Now it's time to elevate higher than just survival because even the comatose are survivors. They are living by machines that's keeping them breathing, but they have no quality of life. And guess what? Yes, you survived that ordeal. You finally made it out. But you have yet to rise above it because mentally and spiritually it still has you bound. Your art was like that of the walking dead with little hope, no faith, and no actions of being all you were birthed to be. You must realize that you were made to conquer all things. You are not the walking dead. You were created to live the truest form of your blessed life. You will only find provision by walking in your purpose. And that takes staying on your knees. You must realize that it is God who supplies all your needs. Not man, not idols, not the burden of anything. It is the creator of all those things that manifest all your needs. Jeremiah 29 and 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope in the future. See the problem with the world? The reason why people are denying God and the power thereof is because they think if you are a believer, why should you have to suffer? Well, shoot, honestly, what else keeps us on our knees? What else makes us cry out to God? Be real with yourself. If you never had to overcome some hardship, some heartbreak, some heartache, would you ever commune with God? Let me say it for you. That's no. And that's period, poo. For real. For real. Y'all know if you give it some thought, when he locked you up and saved your life, you acquired patience and strength that you would never have if he hadn't set you down. If he didn't make who you thought was the love of your life walk away, or put you in a situation where you had no choice but to walk away, you would still be sitting in that very thing that was literally, it was literally taking your life away. It was taking your energy, your mind, your morals, your self-esteem, your self-respect, your finances and everything else. But he allowed you to go through it because there is purpose in your suffering. Lost period in every hurtful thing. We experience this all to get us to that point that we call on him and we pray to him. And guess what? He is listening. You seek him, you will find him. And he wants you to do it with all your heart. Now you get up and you walk by faith and not by sight. You have been paralyzed far too long. We've been indoors for a night. Joy cometh in the morning, and your morning is here. You stop walking in pity and living in fear. God called you to greatness, and everything you need is within. You go deep inside yourself where the spirit of living God is. You are more than a conqueror through Christ who strengthens you. John 14 and 12 told you that Christ said, Whoever believes in me will do the works that I have been doing, and they will do even greater things than these because I am going to the Father. That means that he is interceding on your behalf. Hey, look around. It's too many people who have grabbed hold of the power that is inside of them. They are making it happen every day for themselves and their families. And you will too. And the only advice I have is for you to stay in your own lane. You seek God for his purpose for your life. You are not here to be like the Joneses or compete with anyone else's life. Your provision is in your purpose. And you will only find your purpose when you are in relationship with God. See, when you're walking in your vein, that's where you find love. That's where you find peace, joy, and serenity under the shadow of the almighty wind. See, I'm rooting for you, and more importantly, God is too. The survival is mediocre, y'all. Living is where you will occupy all your dreams. Now, I'm finally glad that you realize you're more than a survivor. You conquer all things. You are not the walking dead. You're living your truest form of your blessed life. You found provision in your purpose because you stay on your knees. You finally realize, you finally realize that it is God. It's God who supplies all your needs. It's not man, it's not idols, it's not the burden of anything. It is the creator, the creator of all those things that manifest, that manifest all your needs. All your needs.